She's not what you'd expect. She's tough and feisty, but gentle and tender. She makes millions and gives millions to the poor. She cries, she laughs, she teaches, she comforts. This is the Danny Johnson Show. Hi, I'm Danny Johnson. Welcome to the show. Thanks so much for joining us today. All of us here work diligently daily to be able to bring you content so that you can move your life ahead. Don't be stuck in a rut. Don't have your life, well, it's fine. Everything's okay. Or even live in the lie that everything's a disaster. And you want to tell anybody about it? Well, here on the Danny Johnson Show, you're learning solutions every single day. Every day, you're getting solutions to those scenarios. Coming out of the closet of the mess that you're in and learning to get it all cleaned up and becoming a rip-roaring success that causes other people to be inspired to come out of their closet, too. You're like, what closet? I don't know, whatever the closet of the mess is. Is it the messy marriage? Is it the lack of the sex life? Is it the lack of finances? Is it the debt that is just totally strangling you and your and your friends and your spouse and your kids? What is it? Is it the job that you hate with a passion? You don't know how to fix the situation? Right here every day, we bring you solutions so you can fix any one of those things. Hey, I've got a quote for you. Today, we're going to talk about turning your obstacles into opportunities. Winston Churchill once said, the pessimist sees difficulty in every opportunity. The optimist sees opportunity in every difficulty. Wow. So true, isn't it? Boy, I have to tell you, I have to fight against pessimism. No, I'm not talking about pessimistic people. I'm talking about the pessimistic self right here. My natural mind thinks very negatively. I, I can get on a tangent of just seeing everything that is dark, gloomy, bad, things that need to be, that are broken, that needs to be fixed. I just, I just have a tendency to lean towards that type of of communication, that type of thinking, that type of living. I literally have to fight it. I have to fight against it in me so that I don't go over there in that pit. Now, there's a little bit of good that can come out of that because you can identify difficulty. But again, the challenge is seeing opportunity. And we can do that. We can all train our brains to actually see opportunity inside of difficulty instead of seeing difficulty inside of opportunity. And so uh, today, we're going to talk about turning your obstacles into opportunity. Have you ever done that before? Have you ever been in a situation against all odds where nothing seems to be turning out right? In fact, everything's a disaster. If that's the place that you're in, I promise you today is a show that is going to help you get out. Get out. It doesn't mean you're going to fly out of it. It just means that as soon as your perspective changes, you see things differently. Now you can actually manage it. Now you can actually come out of it. Now you can actually see the list of tasks that you can do to get yourself out of that exact situation. So if I've never met you before, I grew up on welfare in a violently abusive home, pregnant at 17, homeless at 21, but millionaire by 23. Today, multimillionaire, best-selling author, and international speaker. Um, who has five children, eight grandchildren, and uses 100% of the profits from our business, and I take no salary, to build houses for the extreme poor. Yes, 1,000 homes we will have completed inside of three years building for the extreme uh, poor. And I'm talking about people who have, like, no electricity, no water, no walls. It's plastic. Plastic, you know, like garbage plastic, like garbage bags plastic, tarps, sheets. Those are their walls of their home as they walk on mud floors. So we're helping to build a thousand homes for the extreme poor with the profits of our business, as well as with the incredible community of people who have come out of greed and selfishness. And they are now, instead of buying a bunch of junk for themselves, they are now helping to give a, a solid footing, the comfort of a home, the security of home, the peace of a home, something we take for granted every day. And they also are helping to join on this building 1,000 homes for the extreme poor of Nicaragua. So that in itself, right? There's a terrible, terrible thing that has happened in places like Nicaragua, and there's great opportunity for people like you and me to help people get out of it. Now, let's not talk about their problem. Let's talk about yours. So what kind of situation might you be in? We posted this uh question on Facebook. And by the way, if you haven't joined us there, Facebook, uh, we Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube, you can find us at Danny Johnson Live. That's D-A-N-I Johnson Live. That's where you can uh, post questions or you can engage with us as well as where you can find an awesome, helpful community to be able to come alongside you at whatever obstacles you're going through to help kind of keep you away from that pessimistic point of view of your obstacle and come out and find those solutions to succeed. So we did ask a question on Facebook. 
and Twitter. And the question was, is what is the biggest obstacle holding you back from where you want to go? So we've had some people that have called in that have responded, and we're just going to go right there, live. Here we go with Jamisa Spalding from Kentucky. Jamisa, welcome to the show. What's the biggest obstacle that you're facing right now that you feel is holding you back? Hey, Danny, thank you so much for having me on the show. Um, The biggest obstacle that is holding me back is excuses, 100%. Um, What are they? Oh, you want specifics? Uh, Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Well, um, um, so I have a home business, and I also work full-time, so work 40 hours. Um, So I consistently find excuses not to work my business. Hold it. Uh Uh-oh. You still haven't given me the excuse. (laughs) Okay. What's the excuse? Um, The excuse is... Uh, like, I'm not good enough. Mm. Um, I don't know why I'm doing this. <laughs> uh, it takes too much work. Mm. Um, I, I know I'm not diligent, so I'm not going to be able to do it. Like, basically, self-sabotaging. Mm-hmm. Do you do that in your job? You know what? Now that you say it, I do. (laughs) (laughs) So it has it has nothing to do with your business. (laughs) Isn't that amazing? That is so true. Mm. That is so true. It's the little things, and I'm and I'm starting to see it in the little things. I'm like, wow! I used to be really tight. I used to be really tight on getting this project done. I'm really tight on you know letting my boss know about this. But now I'm noticing that I'm slacking off. I'm like, oh my goodness. <laughs> so let me ask you a question, Jamisa. As an aspiring yeah. entrepreneur with a full time job, okay, which I I yeah. respect greatly. As an aspiring entrepreneur. And you have a full time job. Mm-hmm. If you were the business owner, would you keep you? You don't want to answer that question, do you? Did we lose Jamisa? She's still on the air, but I can't hear you. You must have muted yourself without knowing it. Ah. Oh. Oh, such a good question, though, isn't it? Okay, so we're going to kill that. We're going to have to come back to her later. We've got Jamie McCall from, I'm sorry, yeah, Jamie McCall C. Hard from Oregon. Okay, what about you, girl? What's holding you back? Um, My mindset. What do you mean Um, exactly by that? Well, I um. I grew up in a home where I wasn't really encouraged, you know, to... Okay, well, this is called blame. <laughs> so I what do you know. mean I your mindset? Just... <laughs> um, wait, wait, Jamie. I... Jamie, who owns your mindset? I do. Yeah. So does it matter where yeah. you grew up? No. Okay, just checking. Is it your mom um... or dad's fault for your mindset? No. Right. How old are you? I'm 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 45 now. Wow. Okay, girlfriend. You are like the, you know, I'm 48. Okay. So that was a long time ago that you lived at home. Yeah. Right? Yes. Okay. So mindset. What is your mindset? I didn't ask where it came from. I asked what is your mindset? (laughs) Isn't it interesting Um, that we first go to blame somebody for our mindset? Even though I didn't say... Jamie, who is to blame for your mindset? (laughs) (laughs) Um, My mindset, every time I try to, you know, I want to have my own business and I, I just have, I guess I just don't believe that I can really do it. Why? That it's possible for me. And so, um, I'm not really sure. If you were sure, I, what would the answer be? Um, my confidence, I guess. Why? Is lacking. Why? 
I, I don't know the answer to that. What if you did know the answer to that? What would the answer be? You got this, girl. You're about to hit the uh, nail on the head. <laughs> my self-esteem. Um, Why is the self-esteem and the confidence low? Um, because fill in the blank. Um, the way I was raised? I there don't we know. go. There we go. Yeah. It's because... You are blaming your past is why you mm -hmm. have no confidence or self-esteem. You hit it right on the head. Right? There's no other answer, is there? No. Right? So my question, Jamie, is how long do you want to live in the past? Um, I'm ready to stop living in the past. So how do you break the cycle of blame to the past? take ownership of my, my life. Yep. You got to be responsible for your own thoughts, right? Yes. Right. And usually when blame is happening, it's because something else is present. In my opinion, there's some people that you need to forgive in your past because mm -hmm. the bridge is blame. That's the bridge that takes us to the past. So there's unforgiveness in your heart towards, is it mom, is it dad, is it siblings, is it teachers, is it past friends? There's somebody back there that blame is reaching for and keeping you stuck at 45. Now, do you want to still be stuck at 55? No. What about 65? No. 75? Uh, I don't want to be stuck anymore. What about 85? No. No. So here, use the bridge of blame to go back and say, I forgive you. Okay. I forgive you. I want you to make a list of people from back there that you're blaming for your lack of confidence today at 45. Break the curse of blame. Okay. Break the curse of unforgiveness. And then you start reciting who you are and what you will do instead of who you're not. This is Danny Johnson. We'll continue with more after this. If you were your boss, would you keep you or fire you? The next segment might change how you think about work. Put The Danny Johnson Show to work for you by advertising your product or service. The Danny Johnson Show has tens of thousands of listeners who are just like you. People who need what you're offering but just don't know it yet. Savvy business owners and marketing directors advertise on The Danny Johnson Show. To promote your products and services on The Danny Johnson Show, email john at dannyjohnson.com or call 866-760-8255. Imagine living in a decrepit, unsafe hovel made of waste material on top of old mining tunnels that could explode and sink your home at any moment. Imagine no water to drink, no safe place to raise your children, no food for your starving baby. Imagine that your kids can't learn to read because they have to work to support the family instead of going to school. Could you imagine living in that kind of fear and hopelessness? This is exactly what families are dealing with in the poverty-stricken village of Santa Pancha, Nicaragua. These families can barely meet their basic food, water, and housing needs. We are transforming that village. Be a part of this miracle. I want you to go to the website now and learn how you can help. Go to kingsransom.org and click on Santa Pancha. There you can join with other warriors against poverty and help bring a miraculous transformation to Santa Pancha. That's kingsransom.org, kingsransom.org. The whole story of how I went from homeless to millions is right here in this book, First Steps to Wealth. I'd love to give you a free copy of this book. Just dial 888-757-8880. You can get your free copy of this book. It's like a real book, my friend. You can get an ebook copy for free right now, or if you'd like to pay the shipping to get this $15 book to your house, I'd be happy to send it to you. 888-757-8880. Get your copy of First Steps to Wealth today and begin on a brand new path of some great success. 
Did you know you can take The Danny Johnson Show with you wherever you go? It's never been easier to stay up to date with the latest content from Danny with the DannyJohnson.com app. Watch or listen in the car, at the gym, or on the go. Download it now from the App Store and Google Play and never miss a show again. Your family, business, and bank account will thank you. Helping you become all you were meant to be. This is The Danny Johnson Show. Okay, we got Jamisa back. Yes, we do. I don't know what happened with that phone line. Hi, Jamisa. Hello? Hello? It, it took courage, girlfriend, Do you call back. Okay, so I remember the question that I asked you. I can't believe I remember it because it was like 20 million years ago, it feels like right now. But so you as an aspiring entrepreneur, okay, yes. who right now, and I respect this, that you have a full-time job. If you were yes. your boss, would you keep you? Ooh, man, that's a good question. Um, at this time, no, I would not. So tell me. I would not because I know I've been slack. Mm-hmm. I've been very slack. Mm-hmm. So. And you said that you used to not be slack, right? Yeah. 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 Which that's means. I got the job. Wow. <laughs> So, which means that what do you know how to be? I know how to be diligent. Mm. I know how to be sharp. I know how to do things on time. (laughs) You know how to follow through with your word. Follow directions. And be dependable. Absolutely. You know how to do all of those things. Yes. So, you took a left turn somewhere. I did. So what should you do? Um, Get back to being diligent. (laughs) Get back to following directions and being dependable. And following through. And what if you treated your part-time entrepreneurial endeavors with that same exact plan? Oh, it would be amazing. It would be so amazing. Did you say would be or will be? It, it will be amazing. It will be amazing. And then, therefore, the excuses are obliterated and we don't have a question anymore. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Have you ever heard of job domination? I haven't. Oh, I haven't. so look at this. Did you stop listening to it? I did. Yeah. yeah, I did. So when you were listening to it, what happened? I was diligent. I was sharp. I was motivated. I wanted to honor my boss. I wanted to honor my team. I wanted to become a leader in the company. And yeah, then, I, and I then all those things. yeah, and then you had success and you achieved all those things and then you stopped pressing play. And then I slacked off, completely slacked off. Yeah, just because you stopped pressing play. Yep. Yeah. So what will you do today? (laughs) Go back and press play on job domination. (laughs) (laughs) Isn't it? Success is so simple. And excuses are nothing. They are absolutely nothing. They're nothing but air. They're nothing but emotion. But underneath it all, the thing that kills it is action. Action is the thing yep. that kills excuses. That's it. Yeah. So you know how to press play. That's a simple little thing to do. And so here's what I want you to do. I want you to set it for the next 90 days. You're pressing play every single day. And every day you're taking notes. And every day you're pulling one thing that you're going to apply at the job. And then you're going to come home and you're going to journal what that one thing produced. And you start building your belief system for consistent success. 90 days. Okay? 90 days. Yep. You're going to do the same thing in your entrepreneurial endeavors. And as an entrepreneur, you're going to hire yourself because you are dependable. Got it? Because you do do what you say you're going to do. Got it? And you will follow directions because that's who you are. That's the core of who Jamisa is. And in 90 days, I want you to write me and tell me what the results were on both sides. You got this, baby. You so got this. I want you tomorrow to come to the Facebook page at Danny Johnson Live. And I want you to tell me that you did it. I want you to tell me you did it the second day. I want you to tell me you did it the third day. Okay? 
because you're going to raise your value both as an entrepreneur and as an employeepreneur using job domination in both places. You're going to knock it out of the park. 90 days, I don't want you to look at the results, the final results until 90 days. But every day, I want you to journal. This is what I did. This is how I applied it. This was the result. This is what I learned today. This is what I applied. This is the result. Okay? So it's journal entry in the morning. This is what I'm going to focus on. Okay? While you're doing your hair, while you're washing your face, whatever, you're listening to Job Dom. Driving to work, all right, I'm going to take this one thing. I'm going to apply it. Just grab one thing every day out of, out of pressing play, and let's see what the results are. I think there's a raise coming in both areas. <laughs> it's really on its way. It is. There, there's no question in my mind. You're going to shock some people. No question. Jamisa, thanks so much for calling back. Sorry for whatever happened with our lines getting disconnected in that first segment. <sighs> Success is simple. So obstacles turn into opportunities. She now has an opportunity to grow beyond versus uh, getting fired because that would be next on the list. She even said it herself that she'd be firing herself if she continued on this path. So we just saved a job. This is Danny Johnson. We'll continue with more after this. Stay right here for more of The Danny Johnson Show. This is your chance. This is your shot. Get your copy of War on Debt right now. There's one waiting for you that has your family's name on it. And inside that package is freedom. Your freedom, your family's freedom is on the inside of that package. All you have to do is open it up, press play, and start applying what I teach you in this program. 888-757-8880. You and I are going to help your family become completely debt-free in the next five to seven years. Just imagine how that's going to feel. Did you know you can see Danny Johnson live and in person? Go to dannyjohnson.com and find out about our next live event. First steps to success, register today. Call 866-760-8255 or go to dannyjohnson.com forward slash FSTS. My name's Derek and this is my wife, Michelle. And um, we're the Holland Sheds. Um, we live in Covina, California, about 45 minutes from here. and. We're, we're extremely honored to be able to share our, sto uh, our story. And um, when we were approached about it, I was kind of thinking, well, where do I start? <laughs> where do we start? But um, um, I'm going to start a few years back before there was a Michelle and Derek. Um, actually, I, I was actually debt free, you know, and kind of going along pretty good. And then. <laughs> And then uh, a funny thing happened. I got married, and I married into debt. And uh, and uh, you know, okay, you know, we're we're we're, we're going to do fine. We'll we'll pay it off, and life will be good. But a funny thing happened was that that didn't seem to happen. <laughs> yeah, uh, and what as a result, it um, you know you know just kind of thinking it's going to happen, or we're going to do this, we're going to do that, and something always happens, and, you know, and the result is, that, you know, debt doesn't get paid. So, you know, it starts becoming like an old friend, and then, uh, unfortunately, the marriage failed, but uh, I was able to meet Michelle, and, uh, you know, we got married, and, um, well, married into debt again, <laughs> only, only now it's a little bit bigger, but... Uh, at least the house that I had, you know, this was during the housing boom, so you use you know, some of the equity in the house to, you know, pay that debt off. And, and uh, okay, we got a clean state, Let, let's go forward. And, uh, um, but, you know, you know in, in our early days in our marriage, uh, yeah, we had some difficulty as far as being on the same page financially, and Michelle will share a little bit more about that. And, uh, I guess it's a good, good point for me to hand it over to her. Hello, everybody. Good morning. Um, like Derek said, honestly, you guys, the first seven years of our marriage, when I came into our marriage, Derek did. He paid my debt all. And um, I ran our debt up three different times in the first seven years of our marriage, you guys. I would have never imagined being in that spot. Derek didn't trust me. And um, I finally got to a place where, my gosh, I can't keep doing this. I was pretty much uh, told to come to this event by a good friend of mine and it was the best thing she could have said to me because it's what I needed. I would have not have come had I not have had that charge and challenge that way. The moment I got here, 
and we saw the war. I saw the war on debt. I said, this is it. This is our ticket. This is our, this is what's going to help us go to the next level. This is what's going to help us. You guys, um, we were, we've since in 33 months, we have paid off over $159,000 worth of debt. We have money in savings. We have, um, $300,000, uh, 300000 in assets, uh, income producing assets. We uh, continue to plug in. Uh, I was the first one to come, but immediately afterwards, I told my husband I couldn't wait. I called him, I told him about War on Debt. He immediately said, let's do it. We had some friends that hosted a War on Debt class there right after, and we went to it and we found $502 worth of excess spending our first month and we revisited our budget after that and then we found we thought we were just broke living paycheck to paycheck we were overwhelmed we felt hopeless I didn't ever would have thought I would lose my husband's trust and the techniques the strategies that Danny Johnson teaches you guys were helped us save our marriage our finances our communication you guys we started out with my favorite product is spiritual equipping and I know Darren has a favorite product we're on debt and you think? <laughs> you guys, we kind of bought things one by one. However, you guys have a great opportunity outside that door, that table out there where you can buy the whole DJ, DJ University curriculum and you get a th almost a thousand dollars, over a thousand dollars off. So you have either option, but that's a great opportunity for you. Don't let anything stop you guys. Um, there is hope, <laughs> you know, there is life. <laughs> and um, I'm very grateful and honored to uh, be here. So. Without further delay, you guys help us welcome back America's favorite millionaire and our mentor and coach, Danny Johnston. The way you look at things is about to change. And now back to the Danny Johnson Show. Adversity can break you or it can make you a record breaker. That's a quote by my brother from another mother, Sean Harper, former NFL football player, <laughs> professional football player. If you've ever come out to see us at a live First Steps to Success event, you have met my brother from a different mother. He's about, I don't know, five times bigger than me. <laughs> He's an enormous man with an incredible heart and carries so much wisdom. Incredible quote. He grew up with, uh, yeah, every kind of ounce of adversity that you could possibly have. And he broke it and became a record breaker. So what about you? What kind of adversity is in your life? What obstacles are in your life right now? You've got Anissa, no, Anika Grant, sorry for missing up that name, from Canada. Anissa, what a, I mean, Anika, what a great first and last name, Grande. That's Thank pretty you awesome. So much. Yes, beautiful name. So what about you? What obstacles are in your way? What also is my way would be um, money. Money. So um, too much of it? You got too much money. I need to get. Too much money in your I'm way. Sorry? Is it too much money in your way? No, not having enough money oh. to get where I need to get in life. Gotcha. Not having enough. Okay. So who said that you don't have enough money to get to where you need to go? Um, just being to not like a like, job and you know. Oh, enough. your like phone, way, your phone enough. is breaking so up. You, to, you know, get what I need to get. Okay, there we go. Just too low. <laughs> okay, um, Anika, I, if there's any way that you can check the bars on your phone because you're kind of breaking up a lot and it sounds like you're speaking like German or something. So I want to be able to hear you clearly. More importantly, I want the one who's listening to the show today to hear you clearly. So can you repeat okay. what you said? Um, if I'm not able to have enough money because the jobs are too low to get where I need to get in life. Okay. So let's look at this. Obstacles are opportunities. So if you turn the obstacle of the jobs are too low to make enough money to get to where you want to go, then what's the opportunity that could come out of this job or these jobs, as you say? Uh, And it's just pretty much like it's just hard to like, you know, stay. And also people around me, you know, ask to have, you know, some money. So I would have to give them or, you know, so it's hard for me to say to like, you know, get where I need to get. Oh, hold on. Okay. So now it's not so much the job. It's the people in your life that keep borrowing money from you and not paying you back. 
Yeah, that too as well. Yeah. Okay. So can I ask you a question? Who's in charge of how much you make? Um, really, nobody else is in charge. It would pretty much be me. I would have to be the one in charge to see how much I would make. Totally. I'm so proud of you. I mean, you sound really young. I'm so proud of that you actually know that, that you are in charge of how much you make. How are you in charge of how much you make? What determines how much you make? I'm sorry? How, what determines how much you make? What determines of how much I make? Yeah. It's a good question, huh? I'm saving up, like pretty much by saving up and just trying to do my best and like working as much as I can. Okay, but see, saving is a different story, right? So that was the other question. Who's in charge of giving away your money? Me, myself. <laughs> right? No one else has access to your bank account? No. Okay, so you're in charge of who you give your money to, and you're in charge of how much you make. So now the question yeah. is, how can I make more? And how can I keep more? Right? Right. Because you're in charge of both of those things by the confession of your mouth, which you're totally dead on. And I'm really proud of you that you know the answer to those two questions. A lot of people want to skirt around the answer to those two questions. So you're incredibly wise for a young woman. So then the question you got to ask okay. yourself is, how can I make more money? And how can I stop lending money to other people who are not willing to work for it? So you tell me. Yes, that's true. <laughs> so how can you stop lending money to people who are not willing to work for it? Yeah. How? So pretty much what I'm trying to do is like trying to invest at the same time. Um, cause I want no, 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 no. You still haven't answered my question. Anika, you have not answered my question. How? Can you stop lending money to people that are not paying you back? Telling them no. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know how to say no? Um, sometimes I feel kind of bad because... Oh, no, 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 no. Time out, time out. I didn't ask you how you felt. I didn't ask you how you felt. I asked you if you know how to say no. Uh, no, actually. <laughs> You're adorable. Can you learn to say no? Here, let's practice it together. Ready? Say no. No. You just did it, Anika. <laughs> you just did it. You just said no. I'm so proud of you. So you actually do know how to say no, but here's the deal. Let me help you. Uh, let me help you give you a script, if I will, and that I've given many clients throughout the last two and a half decades of my life. Okay, I, you might want to write this down. The next time somebody comes to borrow money from you, this is what you can say. This is a script. It's free. It's right here on the Danny Johnson Show. You ready? This is what you say. Thank you so much for calling, and I'm really, really sorry for what you're going through. And I know it took a lot of courage for you to be able to pick up the phone to tell me about your circumstances, and to ask for this loan. And I have to use this opportunity to tell you that I need to ask you to forgive me. I have failed you as a friend, as a sister. I have completely failed you by keeping you stuck in the same situation because you called me a month ago asking the same thing, and the month before and the month before. So I failed you as a friend, as a sister. I completely failed you. And I can't, in good conscience, continue to do that to you anymore. I'm standing in the way of you learning how to solve your own financial issues. I'm completely standing in the way of you learning new skills so that you don't ever have to pick up the phone again and make a phone call like this. Because I'm sure I'm not the only person that you've called. I'm sure you've called many people. So I want to help you never return to this place of being in need and to never return to the place of not knowing how to make more money so that you don't ever have to ask for it again. So do you have a pen and paper handy? If I they do. say I do. They say yes. 
I want you to write this website down. Yes. It's destinyglobal.com. Again, that's destinyglobal.com. This website has a woman's teaching that was a former homeless woman. She grew up on welfare in a violently abusive drug-infested home, pregnant at 17 out of wedlock, homeless and abused at 21, suicidal. She started a business from the trunk of her car in a payphone booth and became a millionaire inside of two years. She has been teaching millions of people from around the globe how to fix their financial problems, how to never return to broke again, how to annihilate all their debt, how to be completely self-sufficient financially in their current job or starting a business on the side. Also, how in all of this, how to have a rockin', sexy, passionate, harmonious marriage and to raise awesome kids if they have them. So that website has a show that you can watch because we don't get it here in Canada. It's not on the air in Canada, but it's in the U.S. But we can watch it directly on her website. And she has teaching every single day, 7 o'clock in the morning or on demand, whatever time is best for you to watch it, where she's giving financial tips, skill sets and communication, as well as growing your career or a business. And that's free. So there's no excuse. You can learn right now. Take her advice, follow what it is, and you're going to have the kind of success that you will see. If, In fact, if you click on About, you'll find testimonies. You'll, you'll learn her story and find the testimonies of her clients, and it will inspire you that your situation is not impossible, and she's going to show you how to get out of that situation as she has showed millions of people to do the same from all over the world. So I'm going to hang up with you right now. And you're going to have the opportunity to learn how to never have to borrow money again. At this time, my bank account is closed to you and will be forever. We're going to help you build your own bank account. So I'll call you back in one hour after you've listened to today's show. I love you. I believe in you. And I encourage you. So there you go, gorgeous. That's your script on how you can stop bleeding financially to people who shouldn't have the money who need to become dependent on their own and self-sufficient on their own because they cannot be provided for by Anika. Unless, of course, it is your young, non-adult age children. Got it? Okay. All right? That's the first thing. Second thing is how can you make more money? How can you make more money? Yeah, you can work another job, but how can you work smart instead of hard? You just heard me talking to the last caller about job domination. That would be your next step. Job domination is going to show you specific strategies on how to increase your income at your current place of labor. And you're going to knock it out of the park, girl. All right. So you learned how to say no. You got a script on how to handle those who are trying to borrow money. And you learned a new place to get new skills to grow your income. This is Danny Johnson. We'll continue with more right after this. When we come back, Danny is going to show you where the biggest obstacle in your life is and how to break through it. Did you know you can see Danny Johnson live and in person? Go to dannyjohnson.com and find out about our next live event. First steps to success, register today. Call 866-760-8255 or go to dannyjohnson.com forward slash FSTS. Prior to getting to Danny Johnson's First Steps to Success, my husband and I were completely broke. We just filed bankruptcy. We lost our home to foreclosure and we were on food stamps. After the second day of her event, we figured out where all our money was going. We got ourselves out of debt in three months. We we paid off $18,000 worth of debt and are completely debt free. And now we finally created a life of our dreams. We've made a six figure business and we're just doing everything that we want. So if you're thinking about coming to First Steps to Success, you've got to make it happen. Sign up right now and make sure you don't miss it. Prior to plugging into dannyjohnson.com, I was hopelessly lost in addiction. My relationships with people, coworkers, family, friends failed. I was struggling under the bondage of debt and I had no clear vision or purpose for my life. After attending my first steps to success, I've been able to pay off $7,000 in debt in about four and a half months. Uh, I have a clear vision and purpose for my life. I can honestly say that my addictions are a thing of the past. If you're interested in changing your life in whatever way, in whatever area, you need to log into dannyjohnson.com and you need to be at the next First Steps to Success. 
Prior to coming to First Steps, I was miserable. I never talked to people because I thought I was shy, I thought I was boring, and I thought that I was destined to be alone forever. After coming to First Steps to Success, I broke through all of those lies. I built confidence and I used the skills that I've learned there to get myself an amazing job where I will be put quickly into a position of leadership. So if you're ready to find out who you are, why you are the way you are, and how to get new skills to dramatically change your life, you need to join me at the very next First Steps to Success. No excuses, no delays, get registered now. Hi, my name is Paul, I'm from Massachusetts. And before plugging into DannyJohnson.com, I was buried under a sea of self-doubt, fear, and my communication skills were non-existent. Sales non-existent as well. But after attending First Steps to Success, my sales have quadrupled, my fear has been lifted, and my relationships are better than ever because I communicate better than ever. If you want your life to turn around, all your dreams start coming to fruition, you are going to be at First Steps of Success. Prior to plugging in to Danny Johnson, uh, my husband and I were drowning in a sea of debt. I had broken relationships all around me of the ones that I cared most about. And I had started a company that was losing more money than it was making. And after plugging into Danny Johnson, we have paid off $196,000 in 13 months. My company has grown 90% and I have relationships that I could never have even imagined with the ones I care most about around me. So I don't know about you, maybe you're making all the money you need to, maybe you're doing great, maybe your relationships are phenomenal, but if they're not, I encourage you to get to the next first steps of success. More resources, more training, more results. The DannyJohnson.com Insider Membership is your ultimate success shortcut. Get exclusive access to reports, videos, audios, ebooks, cheat sheets, and other training for your personal and professional life. This is truly DannyJohnson.com's best kept secret. Become an Insider Member today and get on the fast track to success. And now, back to The Danny Johnson Show. You know, you might be that person that's saying, Danny, listen, you know, I always see everything in the negative, and that's just the way I am, and that's the way it's always gonna be. Friend, listen, I have seen thousands upon hundreds of thousands of people change their mindset. I've seen them, me being one of them. I used to be the pessimist. Gosh, everything was dark, everything's bad. I suffered from depression for years, I suffered from it. To the point of suicide attempts. Yes, my husband, in fact, saved my life one time. So I know, personally, I know that you can change the way you think. You can retrain your brain and you can tell yourself how you want yourself to feel and how you, you want yourself to think because you're doing it already. You're telling yourself already that you think negatively and that you're always going to think negative. You're telling yourself that. So therefore, you're right. That's the way you will be until you stop telling yourself that and start telling yourself what you really want to do, where you really want to go, what you really want to experience. Come on, you and I both know pessimistic people are isolated, depressed, and some of them suicidal. They are. They really are. They can't keep good jobs. They don't flourish because they suck the oxygen out of the air the minute they walk into the workplace, and nobody wants to deal with those people. We've got uh, Susan Coons from Idaho. On the line. Susan, what is your biggest obstacle? Um, hey, uh, thanks for having me. I have a few. Um, so Let's just talk about one. Okay. Um, you've covered fear and lack of confidence. So I'd say <laughs> like consistency and worrying what others are going to think of me. Yeah. Yeah, this is a big one. I don't know if you were on Facebook earlier today, but I did a Facebook Live video. Uh, I did a little, you know, makeup tutorial and a a heart-to-heart mom talk. And in that heart-to-heart mom talk, I addressed the issue quite extensively for about, I don't know, 20 minutes or so, um, about uh, what caring about what people think of you. So if you haven't seen that video, you should go and watch it for sure because you just talked about confidence issues, right, and fear. I address all those issues. It's like a 45-minute live Facebook 
Facebook video. I'm literally in my bathroom. I literally start with no makeup and then I get myself ready. I was getting ready for today. Um, so anyway, I, I encourage you to go and, and find that. Um, that that will bless you if you're on Facebook or and I'm sure we're posting it on uh, YouTube also. I'm not sure if it'll be going on our website. But anyway, so as far as your uh, life and being concerned about what people think of you, tell me why that's an obstacle for you. So when I first started the business I'm working in, I um, I didn't really do anything. Like it was just something I wanted to try at first. And so... I didn't really do the business. I just did what the business entailed. Mm -hmm. um, and then I had a lot of things like that I wasn't letting go of. So, of course, I wasn't being successful. And then a year ago, I went to a retreat with um, a group of them. And there were some speakers there. And I had realized, like, because I had been taking a lot of pills, like I took antidepressants, anxiety mm -hmm. pills. And then I was also abusing pain pills along with that. So I was just like trying to numb my life so I didn't have wow. to deal with those things. I'm you, so sorry. You know what I mean? And so mm -hmm. um, like sharing my story, like to make an impact for others is hard. Mm -hmm. um, so are you still parents, abusing pain pills? No, but that's the hard part is I had shoulder surgery six weeks ago. And, of course, you're supposed to take pain pills. And no, 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 I no. Told my husband, like, no, 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 I, no, I no, 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 no. Good like, job. No, let me I talk to you. Let me them. talk to you. Let me talk to you. You're supposed to, right? Somebody told right. you you're supposed to. Okay. I, I want you to look at me. I'm allergic to every pain medication that exists. I had a hysterectomy a year ago, right? Very painful surgery. I've had several surgeries. I had back surgery uh, nine years ago. So what am I supposed to do if I'm allergic to every pain medication? Fight through it, I guess. <laughs> Can I take the medication if I'm allergic to it? No. So am I supposed to take the medication? No. Right? Are you supposed to take the medication? No. So what are we supposed to do if we're allergic to drugs? Mind over matter. <laughs> and find another solution. There's all kinds of natural solutions out there, right? So mm -hmm. pain is caused by swelling. Chia seeds helps with swelling. It also is good fiber and antioxidants. So it actually boosts your immune system while you're trying to recover, which actually helps your body to heal. Chia seeds, right? There's essential oils out there that help with the muscle pain that you simply apply directly. There are so many different vitamins and natural herbs and, sor and sources of essential oils, creams, you name it, that are out there that can help you. Is it going to take 100% of the pain away? No, but neither do the drugs. However, will you have the side effect of the drugs? No. No. There's no side effect to chia seeds. <laughs> you might poop a little more, which actually is more beneficial because the prescription drugs that they prescribe to you help you not poop, <laughs> which then create a whole nother problem, which then they prescribe you another drug to help you poop. So this doesn't help. So look, the greatest thing that ever happened to me, Susan, because you know I come from a family of drug addicts, it's in my blood. Addiction is in my blood. So the greatest thing that ever happened to me is I was allergic to the medication. I can't become a drug addict. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> right? So guess what? Right. You, you also have an allergic reaction, don't you, to prescription drugs? Yeah. Right? So you're allergic to those drugs. So then it's find a new solution. Okay? So start Googling. Yeah. Google what natural methods people have used getting them through soldier surgery specifically. 
What reduces pain in the soldier after surgery? What helps to recover quicker from surgery? Natural methods. The internet is filled filled with articles. You can learn about the different foods that keep swelling out of your body, like wheat. Don't eat any bread. That increases swelling in your body. All kinds yeah, of foods. Yeah, it's been this whole 30. Yeah. Keep, keep that going. Yeah, keep that going. So there's lots and lots of different methods. You do not have to take the drugs. Okay? I've okay. gone through back surgery. I had cancer. I've had a breast reduction. I've uh, had a, a tubal pregnancy. I gave birth to five kids. Um, I had a major overhaul in my back. Okay. I had heart surgery. Okay. I've had, uh, there's too many to list. Okay. I'm the person that when they say, you know, can you list all your past surgeries? Like, oh my gosh, can you get me like 300 pages, please? <laughs> <laughs> this is going to take a while, <laughs> right? Okay. Right. So I have had, I had a tumor. Okay. I've had all kinds of surgeries, unfortunately. Okay. I, I wasn't born with the best possible health as a child, sickly. Okay. But look, because of that, I've had to study nutrition to walk me through healing from all of those things. Okay. So you have those solutions. You do not have to succumb to the allergy of drug addiction ever again. Got it? Okay. How do I, like, let the fear of, like, sharing my story to help others? You just did. So I don't, I don't think you have the fear. Don't, please don't resurrect it. Okay. You just, you just shared it on national radio and television <laughs> and the internet, YouTube, on my website. Do you understand? Do you, we have over a million minutes watched of this program. <laughs> you just shared it before the world. All kinds of people from around the world watch this. So I don't think you have the fear. <laughs> Keep going with it. The more you do it, the more the fear disappears. Thanks so much for calling in. This is Danny Johnson. We'll continue with more after this. Be sure to tell a friend about the Danny Johnson Show. It just might be the key to the breakthrough they need. The whole story of how I went from homeless to millions is right here in this book, First Steps to Wealth. I'd love to give you a free copy of this book. Just dial 888-757-8880. You can get your free copy of this book. It's like a real book, my friend. You can get an ebook copy for free right now, or if you'd like to pay the shipping to get this $15 book to your house, I'd be happy to send it to you. 888-757-8880. Get your copy of First Steps to Wealth today and begin on a brand new path of some great success. Imagine living in a decrepit, unsafe hovel made of waste material on top of old mining tunnels that could explode and sink your home at any moment. Imagine no water to drink, no safe place to raise your children, no food for your starving baby. Imagine that your kids can't learn to read because they have to work to support the family instead of going to school. Could you imagine living in that kind of fear and hopelessness? This is exactly what families are dealing with in the poverty-stricken village of Santa Pancha, Nicaragua. These families can barely meet their basic food, water, and housing needs. We are transforming that village. Be a part of this miracle. I want you to go to the website now and learn how you can help. Go to kingsransom.org and click on Santa Pancha. There you can join with other warriors against poverty and help bring a miraculous transformation to Santa Pancha. That's kingsransom.org, kingsransom.org. Did you know you can take The Danny Johnson Show with you wherever you go? It's never been easier to stay up to date with the latest content from Danny with the dannyjohnson.com app. Watch or listen in the car, at the gym, or on the go. Download it now from the App Store and Google Play and never miss a show again. Your family, business, and bank account will thank you. I just heard this amazing story. One of our clients had written us telling us that they had used job domination and unlimited success and has absolutely exploded their career. He said, Danny, I don't know where I'd be today without job domination and unlimited success. Listen, do you want more recognition from your coworkers? Do you want to be recommended to people all over the world? Do you want to be somebody that is highly sought after? Listen, if you're in a dead-end place where this gentleman found himself but then learned new strategies and changed everything in his work life, and obviously this has resulted in higher bonuses and pay raises, you're next. 
888-757-8880. Get your copy of Job Domination right now. 888-757-8880. Again, 888-757-8880. Job Domination, that's what you need. It's time for you to dominate the job market and break through the rut that you're in. Put The Danny Johnson Show to work for you by advertising your product or service. The Danny Johnson Show has tens of thousands of listeners who are just like you. People who need what you're offering but just don't know it yet. Savvy business owners and marketing directors advertise on The Danny Johnson Show. To promote your products and services on The Danny Johnson Show, email john at dannyjohnson.com or call 866-760-8255. It's time for a checkup from the neck up. This is The Danny Johnson Show. Are you in a situation where your biggest obstacle in life is you don't know where you're supposed to go? That's exactly what Vicki wrote in. Vicki Sellers from Florida. So Vicki, you don't know which direction you're supposed to take. No, ma'am. Okay. So what do you think the solution is? Because wait a minute, hold on. Who's in charge of making all decisions in your life? Well, I, I guess you could say me, but I... Oh, 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 oh time out. <laughs> there is no, I guess, who's in charge of your decisions. I am. Good job. <laughs> Good, bad, or indifferent, you're in charge of every one of your decisions, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So have you ever made any bad decisions? Oh, my gosh, yes. <laughs> right, which has brought you to this place right now. You see, you're in front of a decision right now. And because of the pain of making bad decisions in the past, you're afraid of making another one, right? Well, yeah, that would that would pretty much be it. Yeah. yeah. Have you ever made some good decisions? Yeah. That you're proud of? Oh, absolutely. Yes. That you're so glad you made that decision? <laughs> yes, I did. Okay. So that means you have a track record, just like me, <laughs> that I have some decisions I made that I'm not proud of, and I have some decisions that I made that I am proud of. Right? Yes. So guess what? I'm waiting. <laughs> if you don't make a decision, you are going to stay in fear. And you do not have the opportunity to celebrate in the future, this was an awesome decision. Or you get to look back and say, this was an awesome decision because it flopped. And this is what I learned. So the next time I make a decision, I'll know to look for X, Y, and Z. So I'm better equipped for my future. Because all of your bad decisions were lessons. Lessons that you have not repeated again. So... You know exactly what to do. It's time to make your decision. So what will it be, baby? Yes or no? <laughs> Go with it or not? Make the decision right now. Come on. Everyone's listening. Go with it. Go, honey. Go, go, go. No matter what, you win. Either you win the education of learning or you win the reward of the decision. Both ways you win. It's impossible to make a bad decision. Good job. Well, that's it for us today. Thanks, Vicki, for calling in. I appreciate that. Thanks, Danny. Yes, you are so welcome. So, listen, if you enjoyed today's program, please write us. Come over to our website, destinyglobal.com. Again, that's destinyglobal.com. Or, and you can write, by the way, if you're watching the program from the television, come on over to the website. You're going to find the show. Leave us a comment in the bottom. We read these comments. We care about what you have to think. And or visit us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube at Danny Johnson Live. D-A-N-I Johnson Live. Again, that's Danny Johnson Live. Go over to that site. Tell us what you thought. More importantly, freely, we brought this show to you. Freely pass it out to someone else. Come on. Pass it up to someone. Somebody else needs to hear what you heard today. God bless you, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye. If this episode was an encouragement to you, go to dannyjohnson.com and share it with your friends now. You never know who else needs to hear it. This has been The Danny Johnson Show. Join us every weekday at 7 a.m. for more insights that will help you get to the life you've always wanted.